All right, class. So today I'm going to teach you how to find the North Star and how it relates to your location on Earth. So first off, even in White Plains, you can find the Big Dipper. It's usually in the northern part of the sky. And it looks like three major stars that are kind of in a band and then the ladle. All right. So that's the Big Dipper. Now, the Big Dipper will always have these two end stars, so the end of the spoon. These two end stars will point almost exactly to this star here, which is the North Star. Okay? So let's take another look at a different image of the Big Dipper. So, again, the Big Dipper is some of the brightest stars in the sky. So I can see these three stars here, the ladle, and the last two stars in the ladle point to the North Star. So that's the North Star right there. All right, so there's the Big Dipper. The last two point to the North Star. Again, Big Dipper at a different angle. The last two point to the North Star. The North Star is not the brightest star in the sky, and it's not directly above you. But if you can find the Big Dipper, then you can use those last two stars to point to a bright star, which is the North Star, which is directly north. All right, so we'll skip this. So what's another name of the North Star? So if we are going to be looking at the Earth, here's the North Pole. So if you stood directly at the North Pole and looked straight up, you would see the North Star directly above your head, which is why we call it Polaris, because the North Pole point straight to it. No matter where we are in our orbit, the North, the North Pole points directly to the North Star or Polaris. Okay, so Polaris is the name of like a quad and uh, I don't know, ATV company. And you can see that they actually have a star in their name Polaris, which represents the North Star. All right, again, here's the Earth and this is how you can kind of imagine it in your head. The North Star is gonna be directly above the North Pole. So if you are standing right at the North Pole, this guy has to look straight up to see the North Star. But as we get further and further from the North Pole, he's going to start looking at angles, not straight up. And eventually, by the time we get to the equator, he's going to have to look flat out. So like flat out in the northern part of the sky in order to see the North Star. All right. So remember, the Earth is curved. And because of that, finding the North Star is going to be a little bit different everywhere on the Earth. Now, you can always use the Big Dipper as long as you can see it, and that will point to the North Star, but there's other ways of figuring it out. All right? So, let's imagine that we are in White Plains, New York. Just so you know, we call the horizon zero degrees, and straight above our head, we call that 90 degrees, all right? So horizon, zero degrees, uh, and then our zenith, or straight up, is 90 degrees. You can't get any higher than 90 degrees because then you start to lower your arm towards the horizon, right? Even if I go this way, I start to lower my arm towards the horizon. So 90 degrees above your head is the highest angle we can have. So in New York, we look at the Big Dipper, we look at the last two stars, and they point almost exactly towards Polaris. Polaris is going to be, from the horizon, 41 degrees above the horizon in White Plains and in New York City. So, interestingly enough, New York's latitude is 41 degrees north. So 41 degrees north. So it's interesting that the latitude is 41 degrees north, and the altitude or angle to Polaris is also 41 degrees. Not north, right? Because it's not a latitude, but it's an angle in the sky. So let's see if this is going to be something that we can find everywhere on Earth. So if we were to put the North Star on this, it's going to be 41 degrees in the sky. And our latitude is 41 degrees north. Again, here's another example of an angle in the sky. This represents the whole sky, this like black line. And in White Plains or in New York City, you'll see Polaris at 41 degrees in the sky. So now let's take a look at 
Florida. Florida is at a lower latitude, okay? So Florida is above the Tropic of Cancer, but it's not too far above it. So Tampa, Florida. If we use the Big Dipper here, we use the last two stars, it points straight to the North Star. This looks like it's about, I don't know, 27, 28 degrees in the sky. It's not 41 like it was in New York. It's about 27, 28 degrees. So there it is right there. It's gonna be between the 20 and the 30, right? A little higher, so 28 degrees about. And then what is the altitude of Polaris in Tampa? Let's check it out. About 28 degrees. And over 27 degrees. And look, Tampa, Florida is at 27 degrees north. So here's the main point. If you were in New York, you were at an alt or you were at a latitude of 41 degrees north, and you have to look 41 degrees up in the sky to see Polaris. If you're in Florida, at 27 degrees north, which is a lower latitude, you don't have to look as high as you do in New York. It's actually 27 degrees in the sky from the horizon. So that means if you go down to a zero latitude at the equator and look up for Polaris, it's actually gonna be right on the horizon, zero degrees, because your latitude is also zero degrees, right? If this guy had to look at, if this guy had to look for the North Star, he'd have to look flat out, right? So that's gonna be straight out in front of him. How about at the North Pole? If you're at the North Pole and you want to find Polaris, you have to look straight up, which is 90 degrees above your head. Guess what that latitude is? 90 degrees north, because the, the North Pole is 90 degrees north, so Polaris is straight above your head, 90 degrees, all right? So let's imagine all these guys needed to point towards the North Star. So this guy's at the equator, he needs to point towards the North Star, which is, you know, straight above 90 degrees north, which is the North Pole. This guy is about 31 degrees north. He has to look kind of at an angle in the sky, right? So let's zoom in on this guy here. So let's zoom in on this guy here. Come on, let's go. Okay, so... If we really zoom in on him, remember, the Earth kind of appears flat to us because it's so big and we're so tiny that this guy at the equator, to look at the at Polaris, he has to look like this is the horizon here. He has to look like at the horizon, straight out. So, main idea is that whatever your latitude is, 41 degrees north, that is the angle that you're going to see Polaris. So, let's say that this observer, you're just given this and not this, if he sees Polaris at 41 degrees, that means that um, his latitude is 41 degrees north. And if they give the opposite, let's say that they say, oh, a person's latitude is 41 degrees north. How high did they have to look in the sky to see Polaris? That's gonna be 41 degrees. And at the North Pole, they have to look 90 degrees straight up above their head to see Polaris because they are at 90 degrees north, all right? So, what would the latitude of this location be if Mario was looking up and found Polaris to be about 55 degrees in the sky? Again, main point is your altitude to Polaris or the angle to Polaris is equal to your latitude. If we take the word altitude and switch the first two letters, it actually spells latitude. Altitude, latitude. They are gonna be the same number, it's just that an altitude is just an angle, 55 degrees, and a latitude is a, you know, degrees north or a degree south. So it's gonna just be the same number, just with north. So, this person could be anywhere along the 55 degrees north line, which would be possibly Alaska, and Canada, and other parts of Europe and Asia. So what would the altitude to Polaris be for Slide Mountain? So Slide Mountain is right here. And if we look over towards the right at the latitude, it's at 42 degrees north. So what would the altitude to Polaris be? 42 degrees. Makes an angle from the horizon. 42 degrees. And if you go further towards the North Pole, so let's say Messina, it's at 45 degrees north. They have to look a little higher in the sky to see Polaris.